Alright, we're back. Let's see what this guy, he seems to know us, and he called us a kid. Hey, been a long time, huh? We look like we might be the same age. Uh, a long time? Have we met? Well, I, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta, I, I worked with your mother. Oh, okay. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. Okay, so I guess this guy is older than me. He doesn't look much older. Um, the Einstein, you said. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. <laughs> I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's got to eat, right? So, huh. could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. Uh, so, here, here's uh, actually what this is. Um, it's based on your whatever the th one of the three choices you made when you create your character um, for your background either space or colonist or earthborn uh, each one of those comes with its own unique uh, side assignment or side mission that you can find um, this particular one is based on the spacer uh, background um, so he wants money for food apparently um, you're just a drunk. Well, I don't, I can't really tell. I couldn't tell by his speech if he was slurring. And since I can't smell if Shepard smells alcohol on him, uh, I wouldn't, don't think I know that. Um, is 20 enough? Yeah, see, I, I think, uh, Leonidas here would probably think think this is a shakedown because or at least a scam of some sorts because it just kind of seems odd that this guy would come out of nowhere and he knows me he's like oh hey can I borrow some money but uh, you know what we'll help him out and we'll see if we'll see what happens yeah it's not a problem you're a good kid you know that thanks you ever want to come by and talk I'll be here huh <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? So we were nice. Probably, like, not gonna go to food. But, whatever. It's his choice. So how are you liking your posting at the Academy? It's good. So Busy, where's though. That strange I can't believe how many people right you get coming. Looks like whoever it was bounced the signal off a hidden relay. I'll trace the new signal. Alright, so now... Signal tracking. Follow the signal to the Presidium. And then... Old, unhappy, far-off things. If you wanted to confirm Zalbeletta's story, you could easily contact your mother using the Normandy's FTL comm room. So next time we're on the Normandy, we can call... Sounds Call good. good old mommy. Some of the others are going for Anobia, Find out what's going on with Zabaleta. In the meantime, we're going to the Presidium. Track this signal down. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Hmm. Kroger's, Krogan have lawyers? No, well, maybe the lawyer is not a Krogan. I'd hate to see... I mean if there were like a Krogan lawyer if he got all mad in the courtroom and just started raging in court crashing everything into everything killing people alright so we're on the Presidium now pull up the map um, it's Avena oops There's a strange signal there. Okay, there's Nasana. We'll have to visit her too. Um, let's do the signal 
that seems to be the more pressing matter here. Someone's scamming the system. I'll come back and talk to that Hanar there too. I passed by him the first time because I, I knew that I didn't have the necessary requirements. A little bit of metagaming in there, but uh... I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now! You're endangering your baby! This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake! <laughs> I don't care what you think, Michael! It's my decision! I know you're hurting, Rebecca! But don't let your grief hurt your baby, too! Uh... Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Hmm. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. Hmm. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. So it seems this might be kind of Bioware's way of putting in their own commentary about uh, the theory that some people believe that the vaccines we give our children can lead leads to autism or possibly developing autism. Uh, whether or not that's true is, you know, obviously it's debatable. There's people on both sides, but uh, this sort of seems like the same sort of thing, like the gene therapy to prevent, you know, congenital birth defects and, you know, diseases like that, but, uh, it could cause, uh, other complications. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. <laughs> don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a one in 50 chance. And if my baby hmm. develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. So it's one in 50 versus one in 300. You know... If you're simply just looking at the numbers, the 1 in 300 seems like the obvious choice. But, if you're that 1 in 300, the baby dies. If you're the 1 in 50, and you catch the disease early, it's treatable. So, it's a good, uh, a good little moral dilemma, but ultimately, it's her baby. It's not his. It's his dead brother's baby um, so you know if it was if it was the husband and wife you know I wouldn't I wouldn't say let her choose because they're a couple there it's both their children they should figure it out they'd have to figure it out somehow and that's that wouldn't be my business but you know it's her baby I I believe she has the right to do that you know, barring, you know, just outright killing your child, I believe you have the right to choose, you know, how you're going to seek medical treatment for them. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. That's what free will is about. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Hmm. It's not your baby. Is this about keeping the baby safe? Or is this about you losing your last link to your brother? This baby is the only thing my brother... 
It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Hmm. So, that yeah, there's the moral quandary of the day. Okay, so this is Barlavan. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Mm, who are you? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavan. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, hmm. I take notice. And I don't remember if uh, back when I was looking for evidence on Saren, I chose to go look for Garrus first, and then we picked up Rex through Garrus's, uh, Garrus told us where Rex was. However, I mentioned it back then that you can actually choose a couple ways to go about it, a few different ways, if, I believe. Um, but you could also ask Anderson. Anderson would put you in touch with Bar Levon here because he knew he, he he knew he's a broker or he's an agent for the Shadow Broker, and and then Bar Levon would point you to Rex, and then you could go about getting Rex that way first if you decide. But uh, I don't remember if I ever. I don't think I ever talked to I, him before. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, hmm. always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems game. to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Who is he? Seems like kind of obvious that that'd be a pointless question to ask. Even if Barlavan knew, I seriously doubt he'd tell me who he is. Um, I should go. Goodbye, Commander. But there is a signal source here. As best I can tell, the receiver for the new signal is somewhere on the Presidium. Okay. And it looks like it popped up right over here. Um, well, it's back there. But I want to visit... I didn't visit this guy before. He's a ah, shopkeeper. human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Uh, person. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. And yeah, I haven't really ever talked to a Hanar before, so... Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. I see what you did there. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Okay. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire for a price, naturally. Okay. So I'd like to see licenses. these rare and wonderful items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Let's look at upgrades. Um, 
some expensive stuff. That's what that is. Tell me your items. Oh, this one is me to do items. so. Some expensive shotguns, sniper rifle, medium armor, light armor. Hmm. That's actually not bad. Um, it's expensive. It's I'd have about seven thousand, a little under seven thousand left. I want to pick up this license first, and then I think I might buy this for Leonidas because it's a little less damage protection, but it's seven more in shields and six more in tech and biotic protection, and that's pretty helpful. Okay, and then what about non-human armors? Come in. Oh, this. Anything I can afford? Nope, I can't even afford the cheapest thing. All right, so let's pop this on. Yes. Oh, that's hideous. And actually, it's the same color skin as uh, Ashley's beginning armor. Oh, there's another keeper, if I were still searching. And here is the signal source. Quick save. This must be the signal's endpoint. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. That could be a problem. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Uh... What are you? You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. It's kind of a leap. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However... I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. Hmm. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Uh... Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Hmm. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Hmm. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Well then. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Hmm. It's kind of weird. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal. And I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, hmm. I will take organics with me. Uh, there's no reason to get violent. Can't we resolve this peacefully? What are you, crazy? It's an AI, like the Geth. It would kill us all if it could. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Mm. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. Yeah, I might do that. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed.
Trial and error. Okay, only one left. <laughs> it's like a memory game. Okay, so... Uh, assignments. We're done with that, I believe. Signal tracking. You discovered money was being funneled from gambling machines to an account controlled by a rogue AI. You disabled and destroyed the AI before it could overload and take you with it. So, it looks like that's wrapped. Kind of a weird little side mission. Got a moment, Spectre? Sure. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? <laughs> Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Mm. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. What's your stake in this? And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Huh. Yeah, this is, uh, basically assassination that she wants us to do, and, uh, that's not something that Leonidas is interested in doing. Um, I could go try to arrest them, maybe, but she wants me to kill them, and I don't know that I'd really go the you know, the Barney Fife route of charging her for trying to hire me to basically assassinate her business partners, but, um, no, Shepard, I'm just not going to do that. Find someone else to do your dirty work. Yeah. I want no part of a gang war. Here are the coordinates, nonetheless. What you do with them is your decision. Could you really let these men live, knowing that you can stop them? Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Way to try to guilt trip me into that. So, hostile takeover. High-ranking member of a criminal cartel has asked you to eliminate two of her unpleasant compatriots. Their base are located in the Han and Dis systems. After eliminating them, meet Miss Blake for a reward. I don't think so, Miss Blake. Rogan statue. Yeah, Avina here. I, I've already, you know, I've played this game before, so I know what, uh, what Avina says. Basically, this Krogan statue is to commemorate, um, the Krogan when they defeated the Rachni, you know, thousand, thousand plus years ago. The Rachni were taking over the galaxy, and the Solarians basically helped the Krogan to evolve a little faster and when they did that you know they they used the Krogan to fight the Rachni and um, the Krogan beat the Rachni and afterwards because the Krogan breed so quickly they threatened a take over the galaxy basically or or threaten the galaxy at least with because they're very violent or they were very violent they still are but uh yeah so that was it became a new problem and that led to the genophage which effectively cut their reproductive abilities down 
and that statue has been up to uh, commemorate their war against the Rachni. And she mentions how some people debate that the statue should be taken down because after they won the war against the Rachni, they kind of went to war against the council and the, and the entire galaxy. But yeah, that's the story of the Krogan in short. Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Um, that busy, huh? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Um, uh, what about you? Eh, see, I don't... Shepard's not really... Shepard don't care about other people, no. He's just... He's not really gonna small talk and chat up a receptionist, but let's ask about the consort. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. <laughs> is she mystical? Magic is a lie. Magic doesn't exist. Shepard knows that. Can't I just go in? Oh. Mm, I'm afraid. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Uh, yeah, sure. Commander Shepard, I'm with the Spectres. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. <laughs> wow. Alright, whatever. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Oh. Yes, of course, mistress. Hmm. I guess we huh. have a fan. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. <laughs> what does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Alright, so apparently the consort has taken an interest in Shepard. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. No surprise there. Everybody wants a piece of Shepard. Um, but we'll continue that next time. For now, I'm going to cut, and uh, when we come back, I'll uh, continue talking to the people on the Citadel. We'll see the consort, find out what she wants, and uh, I don't know, probably continue doing some little side activities here on the Citadel before we get back to the mission at hand. And thank you for watching.